Let us discuss today what is computer assisted instruction. Computer assisted instruction is a self instructional learning activity. Computer presents material, learner interacts with that material and learner can learn on his or her own through computer. Computer assisted instruction is one of the pedagogical approaches of learning using computer. We can use the term CI abbreviation CI for computer assisted instruction. Along with CI there are many other pedagogical approaches. For example, CBT, CMI, CAL are some other concepts. Let us first understand what these other terms mean and then we will discuss in detail about CI that is computer assisted instruction. What is CMI? Computer managed instruction. The entire instruction of learner is managed by computer. Romizovsky has given definition of computer managed instruction. Let us first see that. CMI refers to the use of computer programs for the online management of the instructional process which may include the planning, organizing and controlling and evaluation functions as they occur during the instructional process. In CMI, the learner is diagnosed and guided through the sequence of learning. After every learning, learner is evaluated and on the basis of that evaluation, the learner is guided further. In CMI, teacher is absent throughout for guiding learner. What should I learn now? Which module should I repeat? Am I ready for learning further? Should I be evaluated for my learning? Everything has to be interacted with the computer. So you can imagine a situation that learner comes on the campus, starts computer, the learner is told by computer how much learning he or she has done so far. Then the learner can be diagnosed and learner is ready to learn the next module. So throughout the sequence of learning, learner interacts only with the computer and not with the human teacher. You will be surprised to know that Stanford University was using CMI in 1980s. Learners used to come on the campus, sit on their own machines and learn for the entire semester. The evaluation part was also taken care by computer and learners get regular progress reports of their learning. That's why the term is known as computer managed instruction. So CI, CAL and CBT are subsystems of CMI. What is CBT? CBT is computer based training. Do you know the difference between teaching and training? We use the term teaching when teacher or instruction deals with theoretical knowledge. So cognitive domain is developed through teaching. But you are aware of psychomotor domain. There are many skills involved. And when you create an environment through which learners can develop, acquire some skills, we use the term training. So for training, demonstration of skills is required. Practicing of skills is required. Skill is divided into various sub skills and the entire task performance is achieved. The package which takes care of such skills, acquiring of skills is managed, then we use the term computer based training packages that is CBT. So what is CAL? Computer assisted learning. The term CI that is computer assisted instruction and term CAL that is computer assisted learning are used as synonyms. But some experts differentiate between these two terms. CI is considered as subset of CAL by many experts. They say that when there are small learning chunks which are in the form of tutorial or drill and practice, we use the term CI. When there are many CI packages and the entire topic is bundled up, there are simulations also included, then we use the term CAL that is computer assisted learning, the entire learning process is managed by computer. Basically, sometimes experts differentiate between the term instruction and learning. Some experts 
prefer term learning and avoid the term instruction. Let us now focus on computer assisted instruction as a term so that we can understand further how computer assisted instruction packages can be developed and used for learning. Let us discuss characteristics of computer assisted instruction. There are many characteristics. We will discuss a few characteristics. Specific target group, specific objectives, content in small chunks, learner controlled and adaptive mode, interactivity, immediate feedback and reinforcement, automatic and versatile device and multimedia elements are characteristics of CI. Let us now discuss all characteristics one by one. We now know that computer assisted instruction is a self instructional activity. It is self learning mode. Teacher is not interacting with the learner, but learner is interacting with instructional material provided by computer. That is why it is self paced. Learner can learn as per his or her own convenience and the pace of learning is managed by the learner and not by the computer. For such learning, learner needs to understand why am I learning? What am I going to learn through this particular module? And that is why specific objectives, specific target group are needed. When you develop something for self instruction, it needs to be developed in very individualized manner. Even though single separate package for every learner is not possible, we can certainly develop something for specific target group. CI packages are generally developed keeping in mind specific target group. Now, this target group may be having some typical characteristics, specific characteristics such as language, culture, age group, different language groups use different terminologies. Sometimes spellings differ. You all are aware that some spellings such as color, program, are written differently in UK and USA. Cultures play very significant role. If you are developing package for Indian students, you may not use examples of burger, pizza, hot dog and if you are developing a package for western students, then you cannot afford to talk about paratha, roti and bhakri. So, we develop package for specific target groups. As I mentioned earlier, because the package is self instructional, learner needs to know what they are going to learn. So, specific objectives are very important. CI gets developed with the very initial first step of specifying performance objectives. These objectives are written and presented to the learner at the beginning of CI packages. So, learners exactly know what I will be able to do after going through this particular module and these are written in terms of learners behavior and not what teachers intend to teach. In computer assisted instruction, computer presents the entire package in small chunks that is in very small steps. So, learners go through sequence of learning through acquiring small content chunks, small concepts, one concept at a time. After determining achievement or progress of learner at every small step, computer proceeds. So, learner gets chance to acquire mastery over small chunks of content. This sequence is mastered, monitored by maxims of learning. For example, simple to complex, concrete to abstract. CI is a strategy of individualized learning. So, learner control is optimum. What all can learner control? Learner can progress as per the speed monitored by learner. It is self paced learning activity. So, learner can click on the next step whenever he or she wants. Learner can even decide which media or mode I should use for my learning. So, if learner wishes to watch video, he or she can click on that. The speed can be monitored by him or her. If learner wishes to see more graphics, that is also possible. 
even modes of learning can be decided. For example, if I want to practice more, I will go into practicing mode. If I want to play games on the same subject, I will choose that. If I want to go through simulation sequence, I can do that. So, CI, a good CI can be really very adaptive in nature. Because CI is self-instructional activity, there are various activities at every step. Learners go through the sequence of activities while learning. Now, these activities are not for evaluation, but for making learner go ahead with learning. There may be many quizzes, puzzles, small activities such as drawing, painting, selecting correct word, matching pairs, solving jigsaw and through all these activities, learner continuously interacts with the material. It can also be an experiential learning. There can be simulations involved and learners can actually learn by using real like environment. That is the highest level of interactivity. So, from very low level of interactivity that is just selecting correct answer up to the level of simulated environments, interactivity can vary. Computer is an automatic machine and that is why entire learning process is automated in CI. Even computer has enormous data storage capacity. Information can be processed, stored and retrieved. This characteristic of computer helps us in making CI very effective. Learner can retrieve information whenever needed. Computer automates learning by giving immediate feedback to many activities and question answers. A lot of information, a lot of content can be stored in one CI package. The learner is guided through the entire sequence automatically and computer is a versatile medium also. It can present various media and it can process many question answers for learner. Computer assisted instruction provides immediate confirmation of learner's responses. CI gives corrective feedback on learner's activities. Now, this feedback can provide reinforcement and can motivate learner for further learning. There can be variety of feedbacks used. Computer can use different media. For example, if a learner gives correct answer, there can be one nice animation saying that yes, you are right or there can be a piece of music. If learner goes wrong, there can be a beep sound to make the learner aware that he or she has gone wrong. Computer can also provide some clues and hints for correct answers. So, learner can attempt a particular item again and again till get correct answer. This kind of feedback strategy, corrective feedbacks, reinforcements motivate learner and keep learner going further. This also ensures effective learning because learner exactly knows where he or she has gone wrong and what is the next content that should be properly achieved or mastered. CI is multimedia interactive package. Many different media are used in CI. Not only text, but graphics, photographs, visuals, video, audio, animations, sounds are used. All these multimedia make learning interesting, attractive, but CI is not known only for its attractiveness. Because you use different media, the content becomes elaborative, informative and learners can actually see, hear the things that adds value to the entire learning process. Because of multimedia elements, CI has become very self-explanatory package. You can create a virtual world inside and learner can play, explore, experiment with it. There may be many experiences which are risky or which are impossible. For example, volcano, for example, spaceship kind of experience, which is not possible for any learner in real life. But learner can actually experience all such experiences, environments in CI package. There are various modes of CI packages. For example, drill and practice. 
drill and practice is a specific mode in which teaching is not experienced. Learner is given practice questions, practice sessions after learning, so it is post learning activity. The learner is presented with a question, response is sought, immediate feedback is given by computer on whatever response is given by the learner. On the basis of learner's previous response, the next practice item is presented. So thus, learner is taken through the sequence of various practice items and learner attains mastery over the content. Tutorial is a mode of learning where actual learning happens. Learner is experiencing tutorial here. What is tutorial? Let us see definition of tutorial mode given by Ravit and Sage. Tutorial mode is the mode which allows the package to present information that the learner must obtain and allows the learner to demonstrate acquisition of the obtained information through some type of interaction. Tutorial mode either presents information or modeling for skills. Now, when tutorial mode presents information, it may not be considered only an ebook. It's not just information and information and information. The learner is given guidance for learning further. There are many other things which are differentiating ebook and CI package. The learner has feeling of learning something, so there are many learning activities involved. Interactivity is the focus of any CI package. How is this done? In tutorial mode, the learner is presented information in very small chunks. The learner achieves mastery on one chunk, then proceeds further. There are some activities, responses are sought and feedback is given at every step. Tutorial CI provides learner's control over the sequence as well as pace of learning. It may also provide control over multimedia elements such as video clips or audio. Learner is evaluated after every sub-module and then guided about the achievement of objectives of that module. So as you have seen, in tutorial mode, objectives are presented, then information is presented. There are many learning activities, there are many multimedia elements used to elaborate and present information. Learner is guided, learner is given feedback and ultimately learner ends up achieving all objectives that are presented in the beginning. Simulation mode is an another mode of CI. What is simulation? You must have heard about simulated environments. When there is modeling, replica of real world or imaginative world and if learner is interacting, playing, exploring in that world, being a part of that world, we call that it's a simulation. Let us see some definitions of simulation given by experts. Merrill says, a simulation is a representation or model of a real or imagined specific object, system or phenomenon. Revit and let's say, in simulation we see the computer demonstrating its unique capacity to create synthetic world to support rich experiential learning activities. Simulations are used for acquisition and development of skills. Task simulation and system simulation are two different approaches to support development of skills. In task simulation, learner reproduces the task at each step of maintenance procedure with the actions leading to the next step. In system simulation, the model of the world whole system is provided in which the learner operates many variables to learn the system. Why are simulations used? Generally simulations are used to simplify the processes, to simplify the world. If the entire system, the entire world is very complex, then learner cannot understand all operations in that world. In such a case, simulation is used to simplify, to categorize every element. For example, task simulation. In task simulation, a very complex task is divided into subtask. Now, only a few of the tasks can be simulated and learner leaving aside other tasks which can be directly done by the computer 
can focus on limited task and can do the task one by one. In real life, one by one task does not help. But once learner practices in simulated environment, then the learner is ready for the real task where there are many tasks at the same time. Similar thing happens in simulated environment. The world is complex, but in simulation there are many variables which are given independently. Once the learner acquires skill of handling every individual variable, then the complexity can be increased. And the highest kind of simulation will present n number of variables at the same time and the learner has to monitor all those variables at the same time. Game mode is an interesting mode of CI. Why are games used? Games are used to retain learners motivation. So the learner gets engaged in playing without realizing that actually the learner is learning a topic. Continuous rewards, challenges keep on motivating the learner and that becomes an interesting learning activity. Apart from motivation and entertainment, there are some business games. There are some strategy games which actually challenge learners cognitive abilities. So learner gets engaged in taking strategic decisions and decision making ability of the learner gets developed through such games. LSE has mentioned a number of characteristics associated with game mode. These are rules, winning or losing, multiple players, competition, turn taking, points, penalties, fantasy, equipment and some combination of skill versus luck. These characteristics may or may not be present in every game. Even Meryl mentions critical attributes of game mode. Force or coercion to play is not required. Computer games are fun and they provide recreation. A definite pre-established set of rules determines how the game is played what actions are allowed and prohibited, what rewards may be received and what constitutes winning the game. There are elements of competition or challenge against an opponent or task. So, this is how learner learns content through a series of games by using competition element sometimes. Problem solving is one mode of CI. Learner is presented with a problem or learner tries to learn how to do things. When a problem is presented, the learner needs to use his or her logical ability. Logical deduction is used. The problem is solved by using hypothetical solutions, testing these solutions. Synthesis and implementation of the problem solution is acquired. So problem solving mode stimulates learners analytical and critical thinking as well as logical ability. According to Merrill and his colleagues, there are six reasons why problem solving becomes a valuable resource for learning. Problem solving CI increases learners confidence to solve similar types of problems in future. A sense of being self-directed and self-motivated is developed in the learner. Experience and knowledge gained through interaction with such a CI is valuable and cumulative. Problem solving CI adds to the learner's repertoire of possible solutions or actions which help her or him to think all possibilities and strategies and in new work situations. It enhances the analysis and decision making skills of the learner. It also increases learner's ability to deal with change allowing either to adjust or to the change or alter the circumstances. So actually problem solving mode makes the learner ready to face the real world, problems of the real world, challenges of the real world and develops ability to get adjusted to certain changes in any environment. Dialogue is a mode of CI. Have you heard about Socrative dialogue? The learners kept on asking questions to Socrates and Socrates was replying to his disciples. And this is how the entire learning happened many a times through dialogues and that's why this mode is known as dialogue mode of CI. Imagine a situation that you are continuously asking questions to the computer and computer is responding. 
judging what question you are asking, computer uses its artificial intelligence to find out the correct answer. Now you know that this kind of package development is not very easy task. It involves many laboratory experiments and also involves a very high cost. What happens when we develop this kind of dialogue mode? The computer needs to analyze every learner's responses, try to judge what kind of questions will be asked by the learner or after analyzing learner's question, the computer has to judge what kind of response will be expected by this learner. Let's see how Romizovsky defines this mode. In dialogue CIs, the machine is engaged in learning about the learner and thus improving and individualizing the instructional strategy. Deep questioning techniques and multifaceted analysis of the response can make it possible to build complex interactive dialogues. Have you heard about the terms navigation, hyperlink, hypermedia? We navigate in the sequence of information. We click somewhere and the new information opens. What is hyperlinking? In encyclopedia, you must have seen some terms which are underlined or clickable. When learner or reader clicks on a particular word, another piece of information opens. Now that piece of information may also have some words which are hyperlinked. So this is how you go on clicking on these words and you go on exploring new information pieces. Hypermedia also links you to various pieces of information but those are in media form. This kind of learning environment is known as browsing. So this is browsing mode of CI where learner goes inside deeper and deeper and deeper, goes on clicking on various terms and new pieces of information are open for the learner. This information pieces may be new media forms also. For example, you click somewhere and you reach to the entire gallery of photographs. You click and a simulation opens. You click somewhere and video starts. This is how only clicking and navigating helps learner to reach to many pieces of information and acquire information, knowledge about a particular topic. Let us discuss advantages of computer assisted instruction. If you recall characteristics of computer assisted instruction, each of the characteristics actually adds value to CI and becomes benefit of CI. For example, self-paced learning. Computer can provide self-paced learning and that's why learner can be relaxed. Learners can actually attain mastery by monitoring his or her own pace of learning. One-to-one -one interaction is possible only through CI. Can you imagine a situation in which teacher is teaching individual learner and the entire institution of 500 students are learning? You cannot bring 500 teachers, but 500 students individually can interact with one one CI package because computer behaves in such a manner as if the computer is interacting with that learner. Learning is self-directed in CI. Learner takes his or her own decision, what to click, what to learn. Computer is guiding learner but not controlling learner. So self-directed learning experiences are possible in CI. CI gives you multi-sensory approach. Because it is basically interactive multimedia package, the learner can read, see, listen. You have video, audio. You have graphics, animations and all senses can get experience of learning. CI can be exploratory in nature. The learner gets chance to explore new pieces of information. CI can be simulated CI. It can be problem solving. Learner's critical logical abilities gets stimulated. In CI, learner is active throughout learning. At every step, response is sought and immediate feedback is given. Because of this immediate feedback, learner exactly knows whether he or she is right or wrong. And this is how 
learner proceeds with learning sequence. The other benefit is motivation. Because there is immediate feedback, because there are multimedia, because there is self-paced learning, the learner is motivated throughout learning. It does not bring boredom. It does not bring motivation level down. And that is why using CI is always beneficial. Along with advantages, there are many limitations also which we cannot ignore. Let us see a few limitations and I am sure there can be some solutions to these limitations also. The major limitation is planning for any CI. Development of CI is not an easy task. You require proper planning. You need to analyze content properly, define objectives, decide what treatment, what environment can be created. An effective CI can only motivate learner and only effective CI can assure true learning. And this kind of CI development is time consuming. It requires proper planning and may involve high cost also. It's a team effort. Many persons need to come together to develop CI. Only one teacher cannot decide that I will sit alone and I will develop complete CI. You require content writers, instructional designers, graphic artists, multimedia artists, audio expert and then one CI package gets completed. We also need to make sure that the entire learning experience is always not only through CI. Otherwise, the entire learning will become very mechanical and monotonous. The learners will get stuck to the computer throughout their days, which is also not a good sign. So, what all have we discussed? The term CI, that is Computer Assisted Instruction, different similar terminologies such as CBT, CMI, CAL. We have discussed characteristics of Computer Assisted Instruction, various modes of CI such as drill and practice, tutorial, simulation, browsing, dialogue, etc. And we have also seen advantages and limitations of CI.